What is up guys, I'm Atari here back with Going Medieval. So, like what I said before, you know, we are gathering these resources because we will make a uh, floating village. I believe that's what uh, our viewer also asked for, so we'll give him that. Uh, now as for the design, I've been doing some research over the weekend and I believe it's sort of doable. But you know, with the game's mechanics, with the building, um, we won't be doing it like uh, pixel by pixel or whatnot. But we'll do our best. Again, I won't say what it is or where it's from. You know, just keep guessing in the comment section. <laughs> I like to see who'll guess it right. So yeah. Um, I am also actually recording this in the afternoon right now, so there might be some noise from the outside or whatnot. Mainly because later tonight, uh, I will be busy, so I don't have time later, but I do have time now. Hence, I'm recording now. So we did just come off from our raid. We still see the dead bodies here. Can you actually urgent hold those? Because I know you guys get sick when you see that lying around. What else? We really need to fix our uh, inventory management here. But really, we just really need to train these because the urgent haul. I don't know. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't like the urgent haul update. I'm sorry. If you guys don't like it too, you know, feel free to say it below. Or if you guys like it, then I go ahead and say it below as well. Uh, personally, I don't like it because for some reason before the urgent hall now i've been saying this even way before this episode the moment that urgent hall uh the moment the moment the urgent hall update released in the game it seemed as if our settlers became too lazy to pick stuff up right <laughs> now unless you're you know unless you are hauling it where is it jobs unless your haul is like their priority but for some reason they just feel more lazy right now compared to before right, before the urgent haul update came in but i don't know that could just be me again that could just be me why is this bone pile here is it it's supposed to be here carcass carcass food no carcass animal oh yeah that's the that's the yeah i think that was the deer i didn't get to butcher it in time or something like that so that would be in the waste, right? Yeah, waste bones. So somebody has to get that out of there. But yeah, well, maybe because the devs really want to prioritize you taming animals because, you know, they don't have anything else to do other than to haul your items. So maybe, so maybe there's the purpose of that, or that's the purpose of that, rather. But yeah, personally, fine. Maybe I don't hate it, but like, it's a meh for me like they could have opted to not do it it's fine i wouldn't i wouldn't matter uh i wouldn't it wouldn't matter i would it wouldn't matter for me this is what i'm trying to say so yeah there's that um again we will just oh no no one's cooking that's right because no one is a cook you're the cook now actually you i want you to prioritize cooking so that's one thing I didn't do. Then you can do the growing and harvesting afterwards. What are you doing? Are you hauling, sir? Okay, go ahead and do that. Hey, I said, why are you hauling? You're cooking, supposedly. Oh, I don't have any items to cook, huh? I see. I see. How about gather those then? I'll actually also try to do the uh, barley trick. So eventually we'll use all the barley that we'll uh, harvest for... You know, I could just press B here. If you guys didn't know, you could just press B on your keyboards. So that you can harvest without having to click here and then click down here on the lower right. Barley. What do we need for barley? Can we plant barley? 
out and about barley yeah it only requires 10 this guy has 11 perfect this guy has 8 this guy has 10 that's also good this guy has 15 so we are we can yes we can so we'll go ahead and actually reproduce red current shrubs so maybe we'll have this backside as our garden so maybe we'll go now i say this all the time and to be honest i haven't seen it in my other playthroughs but red current shrubs as long as the devs don't update it <laughs> or i mean patch it red current shrubs do not get affected by blight so i'll have one long or one big rather let's go 100 red current shrubs right there and then for our barley since these produce hay uh we'll just have like five in a line like so five in a line like there it's supposed to be five 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 now i'm too oc about it let's have the red current shrub over there no don't do that cancel that and just expand this one and then let's have a where was it barley there you go and then shrink that over nope expand that not there and then let's just make everything a hay a very high prio so that it's the very very first thing they'll do especially if they're you know farmers okay thought those saves And then on the side, we want to grow some trees so that, you know, we have trees. How many birch? Yeah, okay, let's go with birch. Birch is fine. So let's have... Okay, don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll deselect those later on. Uh, shrink. And shrink. these ones let's put them high because for trees it doesn't really matter eventually we'll get like uh the what do you call this the clay materials so it's not very uh, high uh priority to get the wood so you know let's just put it on high now the village i was talking about um to be fair in the movie and i believe also in the books and you know historically i think it's accurate that they will be made out of uh, wood now the problem with that i don't mind doing that to be honest but the problem with that <laughs> is catapults so there will be catapults and if we have stuff made out of wood and they hit this and the foundation is broken because it's wood it's easily broken the tendency is the whole thing will collapse and i do not want that to happen so <laughs> we actually will need a heck ton of clay and clay bricks because that will be our source of foundation now okay just to give you a hint i will make it out of stilts so it it will be elevated one floor up mainly because i don't want the raiders to also just swim like you know from here they'll just swim and invade the village i want them to all focus on one uh entrance area maybe here luckily enough there's a you know there's a foundation there out of nowhere but yeah so that's my plan right now uh, i'll have that uh sort of funnel you know we will funnel all the invaders right here one big entry point into the village and then back here now this is not included in the vid uh in the movie nor in the books i don't think but i'm thinking of making probably a castle or you know one of the one of the biggest architecture in our history the great lighthouse in somewhere in greece greece i believe i could be wrong i could be wrong don't quote me on that but you know the great lighthouse is what i'm trying to pertain to maybe a lighthouse you know there's no boats in this game but you know maybe a lighthouse or maybe a castle so we shall see after i do the floating village so 
yeah those are my plans right now so the very first one we'll do actually is the entrance so we want to focus on that i'll have to do some more um what do you call this some more research or maybe some more homework on my part you know to make it to make a to make a good gatehouse and then afterwards we'll do like a small bridge connecting to the floating village and then from there we'll see what happens next so yeah so for now let, let us just keep gathering more materials we will actually need a i think i have to extend this somewhere somewhere some way somehow yeah i mean this is the purpose of this maybe i could like expect extend a workshop over here yeah let's just have that or maybe here yeah maybe here instead so that even if the raiders are attacking this door you know i could have my archers over here and just hit them like so so yeah let's let's do that uh but first yeah, auto save that's first <laughs> Okay, but first, what is this pile? This is my raw materials clay pile. So let's just go ahead and write clay here so I don't have to ask again and again what that is. That is set on very high. Now aside from clay pile, I actually also want, you know, let's make this high because I want a clay pile inside the workshop where they will be smelting items like you know so they have to go here and then go back here go here go back there so that will be the animals job so hopefully somebody you know trains these animals please for the love of everything good train your animals we actually want a bow as well because this guy doesn't have a bow and i believe you are a bowman yep you are a bowman and we need one bow so hopefully somebody makes that bow we are just really speeding everything up here. I mean, fairly in the early game, there's really nothing else to do. But I promise, in the next challenge, I mean, you guys know how easy it is to defend the troops, especially in normal mode. But I don't, uh, maybe in the future, but I don't see myself yet um, playing around with the hard mode. Basically because I still want to experience the building crazy mode. You know i just want to i don't know i just really like building stuff <laughs> now i'm not the very best obviously uh but you know i have some ideas i want to try out here and there and if you guys have some ideas to or you want to see maybe you're like uh david who saw this map that's a, that's a lot of red current hello give me all of that let me transfer it to my field you know if you're if you're like david who saw a map that you want me to try out then go ahead by all means comment it down below uh let me know what you want to see you can see a floating village like this or a mountain village a dwarven fortress or whatever you want you name it i'm all up for that challenge but moving forward i will probably turn off the uh what do you call this the raiding or probably like the settings will be in peaceful uh peaceful settings so that we don't get as much rate or maybe zero at all and then probably start with the i don't know maybe 10 settlers and then i'll probably edit those um you know focusing mainly on construction and mining and whatnot you know for easy survival purposes so there's that i mean if you if you like that idea if you're up to that idea you know send down them seeds below let me let me have a gander at them and you know Let's see what I'll make out of it. But yeah, because of the because there's a raid pressure, you know, I can't mainly focus on the building, and I want to focus on the building. But you know, for now, I'll I'll, I'll take it as a you know it's part of the challenge. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, quite a lag. Uh, let's just urgent haul oh, urgent haul everything and urgent all oh, everything here oh we already did okay i actually don't need this the father but it's fine okay one more detail i forgot to put uh this the decomposes because of the ground so i believe we should make a 
you know, they out of wicker is fine. Wicker floor. Okay, some hopefully somebody focuses on that. And I actually got all the trees there. Uh, I believe it. Yeah. So cutting phase is a mature day, and that's in nine days. So, and then in nine days we'll get a lot of uh, wood. We'll get a lot of wood. Okay, we can start mining again. Now again, I do apologize for you know this early boring <laughs> play playthrough, but it's part of the game. I mean, usually these are the ga these are the moments that you'll miss moving forward when you already have like a big uh, city running and like twenty settlers running around. You'll you'll miss this. Uh, you'll miss this simple. Oh no! Yeah, that was my kind of that was my fault. Jobs. Let's actually focus on harvest. Everybody, everybody, focus on harvest, except for you. You can focus on cooking because <laughs> somebody's dying. Yeah, that was totally on. Yeah, that was my fault. Yeah, that was my fault. Let's actually don't harvest those. Okay, hopefully they'll harvest these. Let's actually micro prioritize cutting, harvesting. You prioritize harvesting. Okay, it's already summer. Don't do that. As you are very ravenous, you're hungry. Okay. Now they got to eat. They're not hungry. They're not going to die. What I also forgot to do is to manage these. Now, these ones I want to set on meal so that they'll just eat meal foods. No food, no. Don't go on a diet. Meal. And this one fermented only. So I think I've set those to like beer, I believe. Oh, yeah, so not alcohol, not ale. Yeah, beer, dubious booze, aged fine wine, and meat. Yep. Just how I wanted it. Okay, somebody has to haul that because I didn't put that there. Why are oh because we don't have wait what huh harvest fine do harvest first how about that I don't even get why you're oh because mining is on number one I see I see you are not supposed to be the miner you are supposed to be the miner but you're also in construction damn it okay yeah this is hard <laughs> having people like. Actually, you'll be the binary. How about that? I mean, in fairness, you can be a harvester. I don't mind. But yeah, let's just focus it on this guy. Since he's passionate about it, you know, we'll get him up to 25, I think, is what you need for the, uh, the end game plants, if I'm not mistaken. Zero, yeah, 25 for the herbs. We'll need the herbs. Yeah, so until 25. Once we get 25, then you know that's that's fine. I'm good with that. There's no one doing the animal husbandry. Animal hug yeah, no one's doing the animal husbandry. You Man. Wait, that was it? You didn't train? Training attempts today. Prioritize training. Oh, well, because she got the milk. <laughs> and the cat was eating the milk. Hey, yo, let's go. Oh, 13%. It's okay. So, hopefully, moving forward, you know, she will be our main trainer now. Animal husbandry. 
So yeah, uh, consider this a tip. On the first day, <laughs> please, please, please do these. Everyone should be a patient. No, yes. Everyone should convalence. Uh, yeah, do these. Like prioritize setting these in the most, you know, uh, efficient and effective way possible. Wow, I am gathering a whole lot of resources, aren't I? And all of these will just go to waste. Damn. Mainly because, you know, the animal husbandry, now that's very important because you want these to haul as soon as possible. Um, yeah, there's that. So, you know, just a quick tip. Settlers are starving again. Well, in fairness, they did just get like a couple of stuff there. You could actually harvest second. I need you to really cook now. I believe I have some materials over here. And I don't think I edited it. Yeah, they can use red current. Yeah, don't use the barley. It's fine. Yeah, just use the red currents. Please, please, please. Okay, I feel... Are we going to get a trader this season? No, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, sweet trick is praying, but you're hungry. Hungry, ravenous. Hungry, hungry. Ravenous. Alright, nice. Now you're preparing food. Yeah, because we also got these mushrooms. Okay, hopefully once that's... You know, once they're not that much hungry and I've hit that mark, the 30, actually let's make it 20 since we're only 4 people right now. And voila! There's food, everybody can go eat. <laughs> oh, the um, yeah, I come on, I, I need them to haul. So that's 11%, this one's 0%. Yeah, I need haul. I need them to haul. Quite frankly, soon, to be honest. Also, I just want to share. I recently, well, not recently, and by recent, I mean I just started. <laughs> so I just started actually today. Uh, one way, maybe to prevent future sickness or whatnot. Aside from eating healthy, is I finally decided to start uh, jogging again. So I do have a treadmill here at home. Um, the last time I used it was probably like last year or so. And in that last year, I probably just used it maybe cumulatively less than a month. <laughs> so that goes about that. Um, yeah, moving forward, I will make it a habit that as soon as I wake up, after I do after I do my you know my daily devotion, I will uh, maybe ten to fifteen minutes of jogging or running before I do anything else. So before I play, before I work, before I record, before I edit anything. So yeah, moving forward, that will be my routine, and I have you guys to be accountable for. So. You, what you can expect is I'll always you know tell you guys that okay I did this I, for this day I exceeded I went 20 minutes I, I went 30 minutes and all that so you know it, it's sort of my way to be accounted for me as well because if I'm not sharing it to anybody it's easy for me to say you know what I'll just do it tomorrow I'll just do it tomorrow until to the point that I won't actually do it ever again and forget about it and then I'll regret it and you know that thing so I'll make it to a point that every time I'm recording so every time I'm talking to you guys I will actually share about it so this morning or well you know after I woke up um, yeah I did about 10 minutes of jogging light jog uh, now don't get me wrong I know 10 minutes sounds easy <laughs> but after a while that you haven't done any you know workout 
your body is not used to it and the pain that it gives you after you've been jogging for like a certain amount of minutes continuously you'd you'd feel it in your breathing you'd feel it in your body and you know basically it's back to zero so i believe in the future i will gradually increase the length or or the duration of my job and yeah uh you know everybody has to start somewhere and right now i'm starting at 10 minutes um so yeah that is my short journey to a healthy lifestyle now i also have a bench here and a and a barbell now eventually i will include lifting weights uh, back into my regime so yeah there's that there will be cardio and then there will be uh, there will be strength workout and all that so yeah i just wanted to share that to you guys you know um sharing is caring and i do care about you guys especially to those if you're like me right if you're sick or maybe you're trying to go back to your healthy fit uh, lifestyle or maybe you just really want to lose some weight um you know you you are not alone clearly i am here with you guys so all of us are starting somewhere in life and what you really have to do is to just do it okay don't make it last another day longer because the more hours you pass you know not doing that then there will be uh, the chances of you not doing it is very high uh, the chances of you just you know postponing it and feeling too tired until to the point that you know you'll regret that you didn't start earlier you know don't get to that point don't don't regret you know life is too short to be just a life full of regrets you have to live every moment and cherish cherish every moment so yeah anyways that's <laughs> that's what i'm just trying to say here you know i'm i'm here for you guys and hopefully you are there for me as well everything here is about accountability so you know you can comment down below what you started with your goal if you have a goal you know or if it's a fitness goal tell me how you're going tell me how your day is going uh if you've if you've done 10 push-ups for the day or if you've done 20 push-ups or 20 jumping jacks whatever it is it's okay you know this is a safe space for you guys so again i do encourage everyone and i mean this to the bottom of my heart i encourage everyone to just comment down below uh, how you guys are going through your journeys in life so there's that and yeah that want to sound melodramatic right now but <laughs> but yeah i'm here for you guys I, I know you guys can do it no doubt in my uh bone no doubt in my bone that you guys can do it and achieve it so there's that okay uh where are we where are we right now we got longbow nobody has done this yet what is this carpentry right carpentry you are a carpenter so why don't you go ahead and do that focus on that i feel like this is a vocational job i've i have a feeling this is a vocational job and this is what this is their work work so you know you can be a farmer in the morning but once you've uh, farmed and harvested and you know once you're done with that you can do like tailoring or whatnot so that's also good what's this 20 marksmen hello and botany sure who are you what are you yeah okay sure we'll accept you we'll accept you to the colony wait which one are you rain you manage no weapons so i know weapons longbow no shields light and then let's go winter light armor meals and fermented now i'll also put the bed here uh bed 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 if i can see it bed okay now there's that uh let's just put a clay brick here oh clay brick no not clay brick what's that clay brazier i don't get why people say brazier <laughs> I mean, is it brazier like double Z or some double Z? I don't know, but I say brazier, braziers. I don't know, man. Some people. <laughs> okay, 
You, you can get this bow. No, I don't wanna... I guess it's fine, fine. I'll equip it, force equip the bow. No, usually I don't force equip it because I don't wanna see that, the thing, this icon. I don't wanna see that. Now speaking of, I don't want you to do that because I don't trust the armor you came with. <laughs> so go ahead and pick up what's there for you. Oh yeah, we also got these, so we can train these as well. Because right off the bat, we want everybody to gather these. Okay, it auto saves again. White hats, 30. What's this one? Oh, that is winter clothes. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the schedule. Uh, now, one thing to also look at is the perks that your settlers have. Sometimes there's a... What do you call this perk? Sometimes they have a perk that uh, they sleep faster. Yeah, like for this one example. Sleep recovery is 45 plus 45 percent, so that means he gets sleep, or you know he he gets to well rested very fast. And then there's also a sleep depletion speed, so plus 25 percent, and it's in red. So that means he loses uh, sleep fast as well. So for this one, since he gets uh, sleep faster, what I could actually do to not waste uh, any time here is to actually expand or extend his work schedule lessening his uh, sleep schedule because he sleeps fast so he gets that uh, he gets the uh, recovery speed bonus unlike for the rest you know it's normal so I believe I'll just do that eight hours should be good enough or I think even seven but I'll settle with eight just so now for this one I'm not yet sure if it's six or seven I'll have a uh, you know experiment on that and I'll keep watch on him so you know eventually we'll see like somebody's exhausted and it's for sure him 100 percent because he has this uh perk so yeah that's another quick tip for you guys when playing this actually you know what i think i should make a beginner's guide what do you guys think comment down below if you guys want to see that maybe you're somebody who played this before and haven't played this for quite a while because you guys are waiting for the full you know full detailed out game you know once everything is finally out and about but yeah I, i'm i'm down i'm down for that hey we're growing our barleys let's go people will get, people will get drunk soon <laughs> very very soon uh what else what else what else oh we can also get this now I actually want tailoring so that we could get the uh, clothes up and running. I don't want the research yet. Preserving food. Actually, I want this because of the shelf, so I'll get that. I want terraforming now, so I don't have to, you know, think about it eventually. But yeah, then eventually we'll get this next. Clay brick, clay brick making. So that we can expand to our workshop. Actually, well, that's happening in the background. Let us actually expand on that workshop now. So we'll have. I'm contemplating if it should be here. I mean, I can have my archers here and then hit like so. Yeah, okay, sure. Actually, this isn't really a workshop workshop. It's just really a place for me to hide my kilns and and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, the kiln I believe is a two by three. So one, two, one, two, three. That's one kiln. One, two, one. That's two kiln. Space kiln right there. And that's two, two, two. Yeah. So I have space for five kilns. I think that's good enough. I'll close it right there. And then actually, I'll just have 
One, two, three. I actually opened this area. Oh man, fine. <laughs> I'll just do that. I'll have a door here. Now, this doesn't lead to an outside, but more of a storage. Uh, how big of a storage do I want? Maybe like so. Or actually, maybe like that. Actually, don't make this into that. Make this into a barn door. Because tendency is, if it's a wooden door, they slow down. And I don't want them to slow down. Now, bar door, barn door, barn door, barn door, door. <laughs> barn door they don't slow down because it's open uh, technically technically it's an open door so so yeah let's just go ahead and do this out of flicker do that out of flicker and then I just want to roof off the whole thing yeah like that and that you know what never mind my, you know, my OC self is not accepting that layout. <laughs> so let's go ahead and copy this. And then this will be the storage for our clay pile. So clay pile. I don't want that clay pile. I want it angry. I want it all capitalized clay pile. And then I want this to be very high. So they'll prioritize placing the clay there. So there's that. Oh gosh, I hate these. I hate these with a burning passion. Even their pups. I must say pups because I believe they're mammals. So yeah. even them, all of it, all polecats. I hate them. I hate them with a burning passion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you guys been have been following me, you guys know I hate them with a burning passion. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Now for this one, uh, again, that's clay pile. Now I'll make a clay brick pile so that after they have actually finished, let's make it a, uh, yeah, 10 by 10, how about that? 10 by 10 materials, not raw, but manufactured, clay brick. So let's make, call this clay brick pile. Yeah, I don't have to say pile. It's clay brick. That's understandable. Okay. Now, also one thing, if you guys don't, or if you know, if you guys didn't know, um, normally I don't like this because I have to slide down, do this, do that. I mean, it's nice that you know I already see what the what it is. But for me, I like to do this. <laughs> so if you didn't know, that's a thing. You, you can click it right here beside the show item indicator uh, it's the group resources and resource panel Oop, quite a lag here so what that does is to change the indicators you know from the logos into words so from seeds you know it's grouped up you can see the seeds here and then right there you can see cabbage herb flax and all that all that good stuff right there actually speaking of flax we should grow some flax shouldn't we i believe so maybe even just 10 10 of the where is it flax more the flax so that's five and that's five and again let's make this very high because we'll need to tailor some clothes eventually and speaking of let's get our tailor up and running where is it Taylor sewing station. Could they still reach that? I'm counting on it. Hopefully. I mean, they could just. <laughs> Hopefully. If not, then, you know, I'll move it. But if they can still can reach it, then why not? Actually, who is a good tailor? 10. You're passionate about it. That could be your vocation. You're also passionate about it, but it's 3. Uh, right now you are the miner, you are animal husbandry, then you can be the tailor as well, that's fine. Uh, winter clothes, uh, not forever, but, okay, now I, 
now I missed Dawn of Man. They could have like 100% of the population or, you know, 150% of the population. But for now, that's one, two. Oh, wait, no. What I can always do is until you have one. Because they don't count uh, the what the settlers are wearing, they don't they don't count it through the inventory. So as long as we have one, that means everybody's wearing one. So yeah, that's good. So we'll have that. Okay, we've already finished this. Nice. Then we should just materials, raw materials. How many do I have of sticks? I have a lot. I have a heck ton of sticks. Let's go do wicker. Yeah, that's fine. So that will be a uh, workshop, just so we can get our clay, clay mine, clay brick running up. We can actually dig some more now. Uh, clay right over there, clay. Okay. Now I've learned. You know through experience i've learned if you want clay don't go and go mining like mine everything <laughs> no don't go do that especially in the early ages or the early playthrough you don't want to get your people to just be overloaded with stuff that they can't keep up with the work so you have to perfectly balance it out as well so there you go another tip for you guys is this barley? It is. Go get that. Now, do we have food? We have 10, but it's all raw. That's why this guy ain't cooking. I mean, what happened to all our red currant shrub? The fruits. They didn't plant it. Did they eat it? Manage. You know what? I feel like it's that uh, if the it's those damn uh, the things. Maybe these, the deer, the uh, the pigs, because those are herbivores. But yeah, maybe maybe it is them that got those. But that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We actually want to wall this off as well. Mainly because of the, you know, the deers do get in and eat our plants and all that. Oh, there you go. Now she, now she's doing it. Nice. Maybe we could just make it out of uh, the, the thing. Where is it? Actually, you know what? I could also use the shelf right now to just shelf these. So shelf that. And then I'll also build a fence, wicker fence. Now I'm not sure if this actually prevents the wildlife from entering this but I have I had some uh, experience that especially the pole cats the pole cats still enter the the area that you've tried to block off from the wildlife then wicker gate Yeah, but hopefully the wildlife, you know, they're too big. They won't go through. I know bandits, uh, raiders can go through that. So if you do that and then you put like uh, something here, like a workshop or whatever. Yeah, don't. Just don't. <laughs> they can still get through that. So there's that. Uh, what else? Actually, we have 15 minutes for this episode. So I'll uh, probably research there you go clay brick making we got the kilns now and there we have it we can now start making kilns uh where is it here so one there one there one there one there and one there so we have 
five that should produce bricks super fast actually uh, because we are going to focus on brick making I want people to actually do crafting maybe second because I still want some to mine obviously now if they're not mining they could be crafting the kilns so there's that now I've made it clear I don't want people to haul because I've got my animals for that eventually so I'll just leave it like so I also should if it should stop lagging please <laughs> stop lagging oh no the lag is getting insane yeah I'm just go ahead and make some torch uh, some torches maybe right there right there and then two there maybe and then just actually no actually no yeah so we cancel that and cancel that oh, I should have one here as well uh well torch actually I should have one here as well well torch yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, if this is a hundred, I'm two hundred. So that's twenty thousand. Because one hundred times two hundred is twenty thousand. I'll just go ahead and say forever. <laughs> I don't have the strength right now to manually put 20 actually can I just put 20 until you have <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing if you guys didn't know or if you've seen in my other playthroughs <laughs> what I've actually been doing is right let's say until you have right i've been doing the hold control to add 10. not even that or hold control or shift to add 100 <laughs> just to get to twenty thousand. not knowing that you can you know you can just simply type it out <laughs> oh man sometimes i don't even know so yeah i'm only today hours in that i found that out and I believe I've got already 300, I think, 300 hours on this game. I don't know, but yeah. Again, probably you guys didn't know about that too. I couldn't be the only one for sure. So you could just input that right there. So yeah. <laughs> oh, these are inside. Oh, well, you know what? Yeah, then let's just get rid of the roofs. I forgot they have to be outside. But really, I just really, yeah, I, I, yeah, my bad, my bad. Now they're outside. Okay, somebody, somebody probably in the comments were saying, or will probably say, what are you doing? There's, those are supposed to be outside. Why did you put a roof? Here's the answer. I put it outside. Okay, happy. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Now we're producing clay bricks. Um, again, going back to the village here, the floating village, probably the foundation and everything else will be made out of clay. I could for aesthetics and for, you know, for visual uh, practicalities. I'm not even sure if my wordings are correct anymore. Um, I will make the houses and whatnot out of wood. But again, those will be destroyed easily by catapults because they're made out of wood. But the foundation, 100% will be out of brick. No questions asked. I am not losing a floating village over the raids because I've made it out of wood. No sorry. And we've got a cattle. Let's go. Train that. <laughs> that could provide us milk. Research is available. What can we research? Furniture. What's in furniture? Oh, the wooden chair and stuff? Uh, probably not yet. Fermenting. I do want the ferment fermentation up and running. Up as soon as 
as soon as possible because of the beer, right? I don't know. What should I prioritize here? But yeah, hopefully once we, you know, once we get enough, probably around 10,000 clay bricks, we can start doing the foundations. Actually, we can start with the gate first. So yeah, we'll start with the gate and then we'll do the uh, foundations. Just so you know, you can see what we're trying to do or what are we trying to imitate for that matter. But yeah, I, I, I'm really excited for it. I'm happy. I'm happy somebody challenged me to this, so thank you. Thank you, David, for challenging me. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, um, congratulations to to those who won. So there's four people who won. One in first place, one in second place, and then two in the third place. Now, unfortunately, we didn't win. I mean, I had my doubts because I just really rush, rushed it. <laughs> like, I just mainly focused on building it I believe January so I had really no time to actually do everything but yeah moving forward I will really try my best to you know be competitive <laughs> I don't know it just feels fun building and of course it's showing off my creativity as well so yeah in the next uh, in the next contest that the uh, foxy voxel will hold we shall see why aren't you making food? Good sir. Oh wait, yeah, we have food. Hmm. What should we get next? Smelting? Yeah, we should get smelting next. Mainly because we need this. Uh, our doors we need to get them to the iron the iron thing speaking of iron is there actually iron here i don't think because this is a valley so there's a limited resource on iron right i mean from the looks of it it's all dirt i gotta sneeze <coughs> <sighs> excuse me for that that is not iron for a second I thought that was iron yeah no no iron it's all salt oh wait no there's iron right here okay let's just allow that then so that we could get the uh, the iron door because that's what we'll need so yeah I'll actually call that a day uh, we've started our you know we started making clay bricks which is basically the very essence of this episode so probably in the next one will or probably off cab i'll s keep on producing bricks clay bricks um we'll skip some th oh, we'll skip through some seasons and some raids i mean you guys already know we can fend for ourselves especially that we've done uh only melee challenge so that says a lot plus this is just a normal mode so you know it, it wouldn't be that hard um and yeah uh I'll produce these so probably next episode we should start making the game so yeah there's that again if you like or no sorry if you enjoy this video please do leave a like or simply comment down below what you liked about the video or what you didn't like about the video and again if you want to support me um, as of the moment we are still climbing the 1000 subscribers uh, mark and i think we are 50 something away so there's that so please do subscribe if you want to help me out it really helps me out just your pure subs subscriptions and actually to be honest liking the video pushing this video out out and about is really helping me as well so there's that so yeah like if you like it dislike if you dislike it Subscribe to the channel if you want to help me out as it helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I'm Aimatero and I'll see you guys in the next video.